Because when you think about it, these 10 pieces are basically an entire wardrobe. Hey everybody, Parker York Smith here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we focus on building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. If you like the sound of that, hit that subscribe button, join the gang. In today's video, we are talking about 10 affordable things that you need to start your wardrobe. They're essential building blocks that everybody should have in their closet. And once you kind of start to learn a little bit more about your personal style, you'll already have these covered and you can easily fill in gaps and build around these 10 things. And be sure you stick around to the end because if you realize that you have all 10 of these already, I'm gonna tell you what else you can do to expand even further. I am a white tee fanatic. I'm wearing one right now. I love them. They're just such a perfect piece to wear on their own with some jeans or some shorts during the summertime or an easy layering piece with a jacket or a heavier shirt or whatever you wanna do. Uniqlo has my absolute favorite. They're $8, they're super comfortable. They're gonna last you a long time, but I also don't like to spend too much money on them because inevitably it's gonna get stained, it's gonna stretch out. Who knows what's gonna happen? Oh, story. I swear to you, this is absolutely true. Last year, Jacqueline and I were back in Cincinnati and we were going for a walk and we stumbled across a man and his daughter and this man had just fallen and cracked his head open and he was literally like bleeding on the ground. It was very scary and the girl didn't have anything so I just ripped my shirt off and she used the shirt to stop the bleeding on his head and thankfully it was just like an $8 Uniqlo shirt so I wasn't really that worried about it and I was happy to help. So don't spend too much on your basics I guess is the moral of the story. Jeans are a pretty obvious wardrobe staple. I think pretty much everyone wears them, but I would always recommend going for a darker wash pair because not only can you wear them super casually like you can with a lighter wash, but a darker pair also works with slightly more formal outfits. It's gonna pair really nicely with everything that I'm showing you in today's video. Uniqlo again has my favorite pair. They're a slim selvage. There's a little bit of stretch to them. You can see them here. They're so comfortable. I've had these forever. They're 50 bucks, which might be a little bit expensive to some people, but it's a great investment because they're gonna last you a really long time. For this main essential pair, I would go with a slim or a straight leg just because those are never gonna go out of style, whereas a wide leg or a super skinny fit are gonna kinda go in and out with different trends. Hopefully you saw my last video where I talked all about white sneakers. I showed you a bunch of different ways you can style them, but they're an absolute style essential because you can wear them with so many different things. My favorite of all are these off-white Vans Authentics. I think they're stylish, they're comfortable, they're fun to kind of get a little messy if that's your style. They're really great to keep clean if that's your style. You just can't go wrong. They're $50. So even if you do get a little something on them, you get them stained, it's not the biggest deal in the world to replace them with another pair because they're so affordable. Whether you live in a warm or a cold place, a denim jacket is that perfect in-between because you can layer underneath it if you need to be a little warmer or you can just wear it on its own for those days when it's a little bit warm but not warm enough that you don't need a jacket at all. I would recommend getting one in a mid-wash where it's not too light but not too dark. That way you can wear it very easily with your dark jeans, with your t-shirt, with your sneakers, as well as with everything else that I'm gonna show you today. Levi's has a great one that's only $35 actually comes in multiple different washes as well. So it's a pretty good deal. For those occasions where you need to be just a little bit dressier than jeans, chinos are perfect because they're super stylish, they're really comfortable, but by swapping them into your looks, it's just gonna automatically elevate things a tiny little bit. Target sells a pair for $23 that I love. I would recommend going in a dark tan or like a dark gray, depending on your preference, because those are gonna be most versatile. You're gonna get the most wear out of them. Same story as the chinos. When you need to be just a little bit more dressy than a t-shirt allows, a casual button up is the perfect option. Personally, I am a big fan of chambray shirts, which are basically just like a really soft denim material. It's just a little bit more rugged than like an Oxford or something like that. Amazon sells a great one for 25 bucks, but if a denim shirt feels like a little bit too much for you, it's a little too aggressive, then I would recommend just going with something in a cotton, like a very subtle pattern, maybe a darker color. It's totally up to you. Everyone loves a hoodie, right? I mean, it's that perfect thing you can throw on, wear it on its own and be super stylish with some jeans or chinos. Or if it is a little bit cooler, like we talked about, throw the denim jacket on over the top and it adds 
a ton of style. Gray is the perfect color to start with, like a heather gray, just cause it's super versatile. But I also really love like an earth tone, like this brown color, for instance. I get a lot of wear out of this hoodie. Hanes has some amazing ones. They're only 15 bucks. You could grab a couple different colors. The one I'm wearing is from Gap. I think it's 40 or 50, but so it's a little bit more pricey, but I absolutely love it. The quality is excellent. I absolutely love the feeling of throwing on a pair of boots with some jeans and a t-shirt. It just elevates things. It makes me feel a little bit more masculine. I just carry myself a little bit differently. I would recommend going with a brown pair just because they are going to be a little bit more versatile. You can wear them with earth tones, black or gray. But if you're more into black, you can mix and match. I love a lace-up style like these from Blake McKay. They're a little bit more of an in-between. They're kind of dressy. They're kind of rugged. It's just you get the best of everything. You don't want to go too cheap with a pair of boots because you want them to last and something that's only 20 or 30 or 40 bucks, there's a high likelihood they're probably going to fall apart. For those days when it's a little bit rainy or a denim jacket might just feel like a little bit too much, a bomber is a really nice alternative to that jacket. It's a little bit more casual in my opinion. You can wear it with anything we've talked about so far. You can layer it over the hoodie. You can wear it just with a t-shirt or with the chambray shirt and jeans or chino pants. It's gonna look really good. Amazon has a really great one that's 35 bucks. You just can't really beat it. And lastly, this is a little bit more of a combination category, but when I say versatile accessories, I mean uh, sunglasses, a hat, maybe a watch. For sunglasses, a round frame, something in a square, like Wayfarer style or a classic aviator are all great just because they're never gonna go out of style. You don't wanna go too trendy. Sungate on Amazon, they're all only 15 bucks. It's a really good deal. Their quality solid as well. For a hat, I would just go with a plain dad cap. If you wanna get one with your favorite team's logo on it or whatever, that's fine. But I think a plain one, this one's from Target. It was $13 and I wear it with all kinds of different outfits. And finally, Timex Weekender, anything from Timex, honestly. This one's only $35 and it matches with so many different outfits and it just adds a little bit of extra style to your casual outfits or your dressy outfits. And there you go. 10 different wardrobe staples that are the perfect foundation for you to start with and then build around. By getting these, you're gonna get yourself a lot more comfortable with what fits you, what feels good, different outfit combinations. Because when you think about it, these 10 pieces are basically an entire wardrobe. If you live in a warmer climate, I would still stick with a similar list, but maybe go with like some lighter fabrics or, you know, like for the casual button up instead of a, long sleeve go with a short sleeve or instead of chinos maybe do some linen pants so if you watch this and you already have everything first of all congratulations well done but what i would do if i were you is to start filling in gaps between these different things you have jeans you have chinos i would then maybe look for some trousers or some different cuts of jeans and building out from this core base of 10. This is exactly what I did. I started years ago with the core simple things that I knew I needed and then I was able to delve more into baggier fits and brighter colors and unique styled jackets and patterns and all these other things because I knew that at the end of the day I still had all of the things that I needed at the base of my wardrobe. So I put links down in the description for you guys to all of the things we talked about. So many good deals. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to put it down in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram. Be sure you go follow me there and on TikTok for lots of other outfit ideas and style tips as well. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.